In this video, I'm gonna talk about what it's like to live with a Flipper Zero and what everyday use cases you can use this thing for. I mean, you use this thing for ethical hacking, but can it be useful to you on an everyday basis? In this video, I'm gonna break into what I use this for every single day. This is a great learning cybersecurity tool, and I highly recommend getting one of these, but at the same time, is it worth it for you, depending on who you are and what you need it for, if that makes any sense. But we're gonna break into that further into the video, but. Let's start with one of the main things I use this thing for. I use this thing for as my universal remote, like for everything. So this thing controls all my TVs. Um, this thing, uh, I have it programmed where it even controls some of my lights. Uh, I'll show you clips of this stuff as I'm talking. Um, it controls my lights. It controls my TVs. And I have it I have it so it controls my mom and dad's TV. I got all the stuff saved. So this thing's like a giant universal remote I use like every single day. I have it uh, set up where it opens my garage door. Now note, not every garage door you're gonna be able to use a Flipper Zero for. Um, I have an older garage door and uh, this um, allows me to, uh, the rolling codes are easier to get, I guess. So this Flipper Zero can easily clone that because it's an older garage door with older rolling code security codes. Um, so I use it for like reservoir opener. I use it as an everyday remote for just every single tasks. Um, I actually can use this as a crypto wallet. That's one thing I also use this for. I have crypto stored on here. I also use this thing not just to penetration test every single day. I use it for just to have around when people need help with something or they lose a remote. Um, that's another big thing when people lose a remote where you need, like your kids are, uh, they lose the remote on you and you just want to get by for the day. You don't want to go looking for it. I use, I just use this as a universal remote. So I guess like the biggest thing again, I'm going to bring up the universal remote and then being able to help others that can't do something because they don't have a remote. Um, this thing's nice too. You can uh, clone uh, key cards. Um, so if you have a key card and you don't want to always have your key cards in your pocket, you can clone it and put different profiles on here. Um, I don't have any on here, but you can do that because uh, the security cards that at my work don't are not supported by the Flipper Zero, but 90% of them are, if that makes any sense. So you could definitely clone your key cards. You can put your uh, regular uh, bait cards on here too. Uh, if you want to consolidate uh, stuff in your pocket, uh, even though this thing is a pretty bulky thing to have. Um, and uh, now that I said bulky, let's talk about some of the negative things. So again, this thing is bulky. Um, you don't necessarily need a Flipper Zero at the end of the day. I mean, if you're an enthusiast um, and you want to be able to like do quick hacks and like party tricks with your friends, show your friends, like this is the thing to have. I mean, it's just, it's so convenient. It does a little bit of everything. Um, again, you gotta be very careful because you can do things illegal very fast by accident. And uh, with that said, you just, you just need to be careful with it. And is it worth getting? Because it's $170, $180 as I'm filming this. And there's going to be some new stuff coming out, um, like the M1. I think the M1 is a little bit more worth it because it also adds Wi-Fi penetration capabilities. Um, the, the Flipper Zero can do that too, but you need to buy a module for it. It would be nicer to have something more um, consolidated, uh, more tools in a, in a smaller package. So... I'm looking forward to the M1. I really hope I can get my hands on one. I really think that's going to be the, one of the highlight tools for, on my channel when it for, uh, comes out. Cause Flipper Zero has been out for a while. I mean, this thing's constantly updating itself. There's tons of tools on here. You can play games. That's another thing. You can play games with this. Uh, I'm even I'm see if I can show you some game. okay, games on here. Of course, you can play Doom on here. What else do I have on here that I use every single day? Let's go to apps. Um, you have Bluetooth, bad USBs. You can do spam. Again, this is good for like party tricks to show your friends uh, some of the vulnerabilities that they're unaware of. I just updated the firmware on here recently. I keep messing around with Unleashed and Extreme and the regular Flipper Zero um, firmware. And I, my favorite's the uh, Extreme just because of the sole fact that it has the tools I want on it already. Plus, I love the... Uh, you can add the um, DeadSec th um, theme on there. I'm a big fan of Ubisoft games. I'm a gamer on the side here. And uh, I love that Watch Dogs too. I just do. I love it. I love that whole game. Um, so let's go to RF, actually, Infrared. That's where I have all my remotes, which I was talking about earlier. 
You got your universal remote for your TV, so you don't even need to have it. Uh, you don't even need to have the remote to clone it or to use it. You can just use the universal stuff. I have a whole bunch of saved remotes. I'm gonna go through all mine. Uh, bed, see, bed TV, friends TV. Uh, oh, sorry, GBL, my light, living room TV, my AC. All these other remotes are stuff that I have programmed on here. But that's the thing. Like This is just like giant universal remote. You can turn off all the TVs at Walmart if you want. Like, be careful what you do. I don't know if that's legal or not, but I recommend not doing that. But you could theoretically shut off all the TVs at Walmart or anywhere you go with this thing. Um, it's a universal remote. Um, that's like the base, basic use for it is. Because, um, again, you're not going to be hacking things all the time because it's just not ethical. And uh, the whole point of this stuff is to learn. Um, you have the stuff accessible to you always on this tool. And again, it's like a giant multi-tool. It's a good proof of concept, especially when you're trying to show your friends cool things. Um, the bad USB stuff is very useful on here because you can actually make some positive payloads. Like I can write a payload where it updates your computer, right? So I don't, all I got to do is plug this in, press a button, and it updates the computer automatically. Um, I mean, you could do positive things. You can plug this in, make sure Windows Defender is on, but there's also a lot of negative things you can do with this thing. So I, it goes both ways, but the everyday use case for the thing, and this, I know this video is weird, but I just feel like people need to know, like, what do you do with this after you buy it, after you got that first, that, that initial buzz feeling of a Flipper Zero and getting these hacking tools? Like, I spent all this money. What's it like after four months or five months after that initial buzz of buying it wears off. And uh, it's a great, this is this is a great tool to have. So I do recommend spending the money and buying this. But as of right now in 2024, I would say hold off a little bit because when that M1 comes out, I'm going to show you clips of it in here. That might be worth the money. It's going to be the same amount of price. It's going to be newer and um, it's going to be a little bit, at the processor and it's going to be a little bit better than this guy. So you can handle things a little bit better. And it has the Wi-Fi stuff built into it. So you don't need that crazy module. I think the Wi-Fi penetration stuff is like really useful to have on the fly. Um, and uh, this just, having to bring the module, plug it in and stuff. It, it's a lot of work. It's very bulky. And I'm a minimalist. I like things simple and compact. Uh, so I may, I would say hold off in 2024. But if you were to get this, know that it's a useful tool every single day. You can use it. It doesn't, like, it's not just for hacking. You can use it for, like I said, a giant universal remote. Um, you can use it for your, you want to consolidate your key cards. Um, you want to help, I don't know, maybe you can start, maybe you can start a business with this thing where you help people uh, clone their key cards or you help people with spare key cards. I'm not sure, but I mean, maybe there is something you could do with this. At the end of the day, it, it, it is worth it, but if you're somebody that's on the fence about it, I say wait a little bit. Wait until the new stuff comes out. I'm pretty sure the M1's coming out this year. Um, and uh, there is cheaper stuff to get your hands on first. Um, they sell infrared um, uh, hacking, it's, it's say hacking devices, but they're like $10 on Amazon. And I'll show you the link in here. You're like ten dollars, and you can do all the universal remote stuff with you just using your phone and this little plug-in adapt uh, adapter. So, I mean, if you want to buy something like that to experiment with first, um, again, this thing has a lot of bad USB features that are really nice, um, and uh, there's a lot of other illegal things you can do. But this video is for everyday use cases, and also um, an everyday use case that is good with this is that you can use it to control your phone. Um, so if I go to apps, if I go to Bluetooth. I go to uh, Bluetooth remote and uh, you can like use it to Apple Music OS. I can use it to play music. I can use it to skip songs if I want to. So it, again, a giant remote, but this is a Bluetooth remote. I do use it. I do use it for, like I said, my garage door opener, my, my remote if I lose my TV remotes. So I keep saying remotes, but it's like pretty much the biggest thing you can use for this. I use this for a USB storage device. Uh, mass storage, um, the universal remote is the only like real thing you can use other than the ethical hacking stuff every single day. So if you're going to buy one of these, I recommend it. But I also recommend if you're on the fence just to wait a little bit longer, wait for the new stuff to come out. And uh, I'll be doing a review on that stuff when it does come out because I'll be I'll hopefully able to get that right away. These devices are not all malicious. At the end of the day, you can use it for everyday purposes, like just with the remote features on here.
being able to like in a pinch turn off a TV or mute it with the, with the volume down. And even like if you're at a party and someone has an annoying TV blasting or something, change TV channels at the bar, etc. I mean, that's cool too. Um, but I mean, again, this is all for educational purposes only. I can't emphasize that enough, YouTube. Please don't strike me again. I'm just trying to educate the public. And uh, these tools are very dangerous, but they also have very everyday good use cases. And uh, I'm gonna work on more like laid back videos that explain what it's like to own these devices after a while. And once that initial buzz wears off, and again, I love this thing. I love using it to learn. And I'm constantly using this thing to learn. And there's a lot more things I can do with this um, eventually, but is it worth it every single day to have with you? Like, is it like, you, you, like what's the everyday use case you could use this for other than ethical hacking? And the biggest thing again would be the universal remote features like that just helps out so much that's the biggest use case for me having this on my pocket and on my person all the time so and it's like a party trick for your friends so if you want to prove a point or show somebody something cool i mean it always gets their attention when you show it. it's like being like a magician like you do a little card trick in front of your friends like that's this for like ethical hacking like this is like the little card trick that oh wow look at this so that's that. Again, safety is an illusion. Thank you for coming to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.